Welcome to the demonstration of Guitar, a Go and Use Case integration tool for the analysis of requirements. In the video, I'm going to show you the main features of the tool. In this demonstration, I'm using a case study which contains the simplified requirements for a traveler social networking system. The main objectives of the system is to help travelers with travel planning and facilitate connections between travelers around the world. Here's the main screen of guitar. The middle area shows a list of goals and use cases. The right hand side area shows a graphic view of those artifacts. The bottom area shows details of individual artifacts. I'm going through some existing goals and use cases in the list. The top goal is a business goal which specifies the system is to assist our travelers with travel planning. It has a number of sub goals, for instance, allow users to share experiences or allow users to create connections with others. The property view provides details of the selected artifact. Basic properties include IDs, text or and structure description. And extended properties include relationships with other artifacts. I'm going to show a use case with ID UC1. And again it's details in the property view. UC1 describes steps taken to create a travel article. Next, I'll try to add a new artifact. Consider the goal NSG1 ensure reviews are reliable. I'm going to add a goal users shall be able to create only reviews for places. I choose to create a function as service goal. I'm using a boilerplate to specify text or description and automatically generate the structure description. Now I edit the text or description. The structure description is now automatically generated. The new goal is now added. Next, I'm going to show the importance of domain knowledge in requirements analysis. FHG30 and FHG6 are expected to be inconsistent because FHG30 says users can create only reviews for places why Apache 6 says they can write reviews for places and tours? To find this inconsistency, we need to know places and tours are different and create review and write review are equivalent. In this example, I assume the difference between places and tour has been recorded into the ontology. However, the equivalence of create reviews and write review hasn't. So I expect the validator will fail to detect this problem. Yes, no inconsistency has been failed. Now I'm going to update ontology with that relationship. This is an existing activity called create content. It covers create reviews because the review is a type of content. And I try to define that create content is equivalent to write content in Manchester L syntax. Then the relationship is defined. I try to revalidate for inconsistencies. Now it's detected. Let's look at the explanation.
The explanation shows again the descriptions of artifacts. It says according to domain knowledge, create content is equivalent to write content and that plays into a lot of different concepts. Let's look at the resolution alternatives. Some resolution options are provided include delete the artifacts or remove the only restriction in average is 30. Or mentally modify the description. I choose to remove this restriction in average 30. The problem is now gone. Let's check again the description of average 30. Only has been removed from both descriptions. Next, I'm going to show an inconsistency between a goal and a use case. I'm going to link go FHE6 to a use case about steps taken to reply to a forum post. Add an existing use case. Now select the use case. Now they are linked together. Now run the inconsistency validation again. An inconsistency is detected between the goal and the use case. Now look at the explanation. It shows that the goal and the use case focus on different objects. One on reviews and the other one is on forum posts. Now let's try to resolve the problem. Options include simply remove the relationship or manually modify either of them. I choose to remove the relationship. The problem is now solved. Next, I'm going to show an example of incorrect NIC detections. Start the incorrect NIC validator. An incorrect NIC is detected in use case UC2. It says the use case preconditions include its post conditions. The explanation shows the post condition is user has been signed in and one of the precondition is user has been logged in. And that signed in and logged in are equivalent. Let's see how to resolve this problem. Option include modify or delete either the precondition or post condition. I now choose to modify the post condition. The post condition should now be system shall display the reply post. And again, boilerplate is used. Now edit the text or description. The structure description is automatically updated. Now the problem is removed. Next, I'm going to show an incomplete NICS example. There's a number of incomplete NICS detected. Most of them are syntactical incomplete NICS. For instance, a high level goal without a sub goal. We focus on a more interesting case, a semantic one. Let's see the explanation. The explanation indicates that banned users are not allowed to create a trial article. However, the, this exceptional case has not been handled. Now let's see how to resolve this incomplete mix. Two options include adding a precondition or an extension to handle banned users. I choose to add a precondition. GitHub recommends a precondition user is not banned users. I change to user is not banned. 
This structure's description is now updated. And now the incomplete nick has been removed. This is the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.